Hi right, guys, welcome down to Tour X Golf here in Wigan and with our friends at Golf Pride we're talking grips. All about the bit at the end of the club that everyone forgets about. <laughs> everyone thinks about this bit, everyone thinks about this bit, that bit gets overlooked. And this is all about the re-education of the masses. That's what we do here at our channels. And we've <laughs> done a couple of videos already. Um, so we've done a bit of a question and answer session about grips that we posted on social media. And we've also done a fastest grip challenge, but there was method to that particular madness. We put a couple of grips on kind of bladed iron clubs, and we've also got a very similar blade, but that has an old grip on. Yeah, so this this particular bladed iron is one of Nick Hibbs's who, who runs and owns Tor X. It's one of his most favorite demo clubs, and it's a Tor Velvet grip, which has been slightly worn out by now. Mm. Um, it's, it's slippy to look at, it's slippy when you hold it. We're gonna hit some shots with it, give our feedback about it, and then jump on the new ones and also talk about the feeling. Considering the club's heads are all pretty similar, we should then be able to see much of a difference within the grip. Okay. We've chosen two different grips because we have different preferences and different hand size, so we, we have chose two different grips, and you should have seen those in the videos prior. Absolutely. If, got, if not, you should go watch them. Yeah, we've got Trapman on, so we're going to leave that running. We'll, we'll kind of discuss what's happening as we're hitting it. Yeah. So talk us through... You, have you gone bare glove? Um, I really want to feel... Like the the the, the, the microfiber. Wow, the I've, I've got I've got gloves. I, I really I'm, want to feel it. I'm, I think I would let go of that without. A glove I'm on. committed to it. Oh, come on, how, how many how many shots do we hear now? Okay, do you need true. a glove anymore? Yeah, I've got leather hands. I don't <laughs> need it anymore. So this is all it is. It's not so much. We're not going to see a huge difference in ball flight. It's just to really see if there's a huge difference in feel when mm. Pete hits this. Okay. So. Oh, I think there was a bit of a feel in that. <laughs> that was a bit of a stinger. So does it, during the stroke, I mean, I can't play with a glove on, I can't play with a club, I can't play with a glove on, I can't play when I'm not wearing a glove on <laughs> camera, because I actually get sweaty palms when I'm on camera. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, well, even I'm, now. I'm fine, I'm cool, man. I think the thing with this, I mean, straight away, Although wearing a grip will make you relax a little bit more, um, certainly in the hands, just with this grip straight away, it feels like I've got a grip on, like so tight. <clears throat> so tightness is one thing that you notice it. Yeah, I mean, as soon as you, as soon as you hold it, you, you can sense that it's slippy. So if you're sensing that it's slippy, you're automatically gonna hold on tight because I don't wanna be firing this into the screen. So something for you as well with this a particular grip that's thinner than your standard grip. Yeah. You would yeah, have a normal uh, mid-size which you've jumped on there with your, the new grip that you've put on. Um, so does it feel much difference with the thinness? Which What stands yeah. out to you more? Is it the thinness or the wearing out of the grip? Uh, definitely probably the more the wearing out of the grip. So the grip, the thickness yeah. isn't that... Because with I've played with thinner thinner grip tines before right, so okay. it's not a... That's not, not as foreign to you. Yeah, no. I mean, I can, I can adapt and I can kind of use that. It is more just the fact that it's so... Yeah, it's slippy and I can kind of feel lots of bumps and ridges in the grip as well. Like, you can almost feel like someone else's handprints in it a little bit. It yeah. seems, it seems you're, like, it's like you're hitting it timidly. It's well, like I'm, you're hitting it with a little bit of caution there. I'm a pretty timid character. We're going to jump on now to the, you, you jumped on, you hit, you put on the CP2 Pro mid-size, yeah, right. which is a new grip. It's a slight wrap grip, which I actually don't like the feel of that much. I, I, I've got to be honest, this feels a lot... I mean, the thing is, new grips are like a new comfy pair of trainers. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, as, soon as, you, as soon as you hold them, it's like, oh, that's so much nicer. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it is so much nicer. And straight away, it just feels, yeah. just feels comfortable. My hands are relaxing almost as I speak. Relaxed, yeah, scared. I think that's right. Hey, yeah, that's fine. Um, so I <laughs> just relax, kind of a lot more relaxed straight away. I'm not afraid that I'm going to let go of it. And it just feels fresh, obviously, because it is new on. And it just feels like I can release through a little bit more. That felt a bit pulley, that one, though. Best, best grip ever. Best grip ever. <laughs> mind, mind you if, you, if you do remember how I put this on. Well, you did actually yeah. put it on close. I <laughs> put it on a little bit close, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have time to correct it. But no, it just feels a lot. It just feels a lot nicer. It just feels a lot kind of comfier. I'll actually swing through. Give it a go. I'm not going to. I'm not going to give yours a go. You're not going to give mine a I go. I like holding another man's grip. So I'm going to hit some with the <coughs> the old one first. So this is I've, the old Tor Velvet. I would say you need to hit some with that first for you know 
to compare. Yeah, I mean, even with the glove on, it's my right hand that I'm feeling the slippiness to it. Yeah. I don't, I, personally, I don't feel like I have to hold on to it that tight, whether it's because I've got a grip on. Possibly. It's odd because it feels like when it rotates, that was a good shot, when it rotates in my hand, my bottom hand, it actually feels like it slightly hurts my hand. That, that shot it's then, it felt like as it slipped, it actually just grated on my skin. I've yeah. got very sensitive hands, Peter. I don't know if I've ever I mean, told you this. You're a very sensitive guy. You've hit that a long way, mate. Yeah, I'm killing it. Oh, 15 yards further, I've told you that. Oh, from JJ. I mean, this isn't terrible. This feels okay. It's not the worst grip I've ever held in my life. Other I, grips can be really, really slippy. That's, it's not terrible, that, but it, I can, I'm, sent, I'm conscious that it's, it's not new. I'm conscious that it feels... We'll, we'll put it this way. If, if you had that on your grip, would you change it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah 100%. <laughs> I'd have had a new club by now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get new grips. I get new clubs. <laughs> Well, that over. feels okay. That feels okay. Right. I'll switch over to yours. You know what? I'm mega looking forward to this. So my tendency is to miss the target to the left. Okay. I will overdraw a ball. Now, <clears throat> with this grip, this new MCC plus four, it's thicker under the bottom hand. Therefore, a bit like Bubba. <laughs> We're a bit... A bit like how Bubba has an incredibly <laughs> thick right hand grip. This is thicker on the bottom hand. This feels to me like it's a parallel grip, even though it's not. Okay. I think this will massively help me not hitting it to the left. Okay. Obviously, the newness of the grip feels fantastic because of it being new lovely shoe. and new. New shoe effect. This should be hard for me to hit left. Harder. Harder. To Harder? Hit left. My goodness me. <laughs> I think you might have to shave down the bottom of that grip a bit. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit offline, would you say? <laughs> yeah, I think if you just kind of relax that grip a little bit, I mean, it should do what it says on the tin for you. So what have you got at the moment? What have you got at the moment on yours? Uh, just standard. I like that shape. I can actually live with that shape. Because for me, all I would need to... Because if I know I'm not going to miss the ball right, mm. left, sorry... All I would do then is aim down that left side of that screen. I definitely prefer the idea that this doesn't go left for me because of it because of that thickness of the bottom grip. Do you think that makes do you think it makes technically a massive difference or do you think it's just more of a mental thing? Yeah. A mental feel but, but thing. I, no, I think there's I think there's evidence that it would reduce face closure okay i think it would reduce face closure like this grip for you this feels like i'm holding a cricket bat <laughs> it feels so thick a really thick good all cricket. the way through the grip as well which i don't like proper grip grip for proper northerners this <laughs> <laughs> oh no i couldn't hit that it is it is amazing how like different it's it feels but i think you could hit mine that's actually gone straight but it was a terrible golf shot Look how straight that's I know, gone. But it, it's gone like that's an unbelievably good shot. 40 yards less. I think you need a proper grip fit in you. So we go with this. <laughs> what are you, what are you doing that by purpose? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was a festival. You're like, you, the club header was like directly over it, like sorry, hovering. No, I wasn't. Promise. That's like, wow. Promise I wasn't. It's like, wow, it's not even down the old course anymore. It's kind of following me around. See, that just does feel very thin. It does feel, yeah, very thin. Thin than the other. Oh, yeah. Because you've just been hitting this fat one. Right, guys, so what is, what is important there? There is different grits for different types of swingers, swingers for different types of golfers, and... Mega draw. Yeah. So that's probably the one benefit of this. I can feel I can work it a lot more. <clears throat> See, I feel like I can not work it. Do you know what I mean? I actually feel this I couldn't work. Right, okay. And this I could not work just a little bit. Can you hit that same shot with this? I think you would find it harder to work with this thick grip. Okay. Yeah, okay. Argument accepted. 
That was a lot thinner. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I feel with with that thick grip, I couldn't work a ball, but I don't want to work a ball. That's not my idea. I want to be less workative. Workative. I want to be less. So I actually feel like I could fade this golf shot with it, with it being the tapered grip. This is back, back on the tapered grip. Okay. Or slightly tapered, shall I say. So I feel like I can actually hit a shot that shapes left to right with this grip. Because I, I, can't, I don't feel like I can turn it over as much as I can do a normal tapered grip. But it just shows the preferences in grip is a huge big thing as well. Oh, yeah. No, I don't absolutely. like the feel of yours because it's too thick and I don't like how soft it is. I don't like the feel of that because it's, it's too worn out. Mm. But I'm like, starting to like the feel of this with it being thicker in the lower hand. I don't feel like I can rotate this over as much. I think you're wrong. I think mine's better. <laughs> we could argue forever about this. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Like I say, it's just an interesting conversation around mm. grips. Um, I don't think we can ever really find any tangible evidence that there is a huge amount of difference, but it's very much feel-based. If it feels like a good grip and a grip that's going to suit your tendencies of misses, either too far left or too far right, um, then, then it makes sense. Then it's an idea to change the grip. And when you come to change your grip, look at not just the texture, but also the thickness and the way that thickness is changing. It's not just now thicker. It can be thick and then uh, thicker and then thicker or thinner and thicker. You know, there's other options now. So we want to thank Tor Excellence for coming down here and Phil. We want to set up, uh, thank our friends at Golf Pride for setting up this uh, cool little activity, talking about grips, making conversations about grips start to take place. Um, and interesting, go and have a look at your grips next time you play or before you go and play and just have a look at them and really ask yourself the question, are these grips the best for my game? Are they giving me the best help possible? Absolutely. And guys, like Rick said, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe uh, to both the channels. If you want any more info on kind of grips and these kind of golf bike grips, just what, log on to the uh, Golf Ride website and you can find out kind of more info there. This is going to be a fade. No, no, straight. Straight. What's a, what's a straight? Butter straight.